I welcome you to my another video about tools. Company called Hichika has contacted me and offered cooperation. They are tools manufacturers with quite a rich portfolio. They have their own 12 and 20 volt systems that are their proprietary. They even have their own e-shop and their own warehouses, also in Europe. Uh, this is the tool sortiment. Uh, for example, 4 volt screwdriver, 12 volt drill, radio with light, compressor and self-moving loan mover. From 18 or 20 volt tools uh, they have a weaker and stronger drill, angle grinder, recipro saw to impacts, silk saw and compressor. From mains power tools they have uh, plunge saws, circular saws, delta and orbital sanders, meter saw and jigsaw. From gardening tools they offer twin acu chainsaw, one Aku chainsaw we have now for review, Twin Aku leaf blower, Twin Aku weed trimmer and Twin Aku bush trimmer. They also offer some accessories, so quite rich if you ask me. Now to the topic. I thank Hichika for sending me this tool for review, so we can have a look at it together in this video review. Wow saw costs around $130, which is usual for such a tool. Uh, the set includes everything in the picture, plus oil and manual. Chain speed is 7.5 meters per second, which is again standard for these single hand chainsaws. Moreover, the chainsaw has chain oiling. Yes, it has active chain lubrication. Uh, the battery has capacity of 4 amp hours, that is again standard. Bar has length of 20 cm, so it should not be limiting you regarding wood thickness. I also own this saw, pretty cheap one, around $20. Uh, but guess what? This is just basic tool. Uh, the bar has just 10 centimeters, but if I would fit a longer bar, the brushed RS550 motor wouldn't withstand it. Moreover, it doesn't have chain lubrication, so one has to carry WD40 in pocket. It also has brushless motor that offers longer lifespan because there are no brushes or commutator that would wear out and it also has better energy efficiency and higher torque. If you get amazed by the parameters and order the chainsaw, you will see such box in around a week. The packaging includes spare chain, Always carry at least one spare chain and ideally a file too. Uh, then there is combination of allen key and screwdriver. Uh, the hex end is for main bolt and uh, the flathead screwdriver is for chain tension adjustment. There is also a bottle of starter oil. I would say the oil is too thin, but hey, it's, it's good to have. Uh, there is also one 4 amp hour battery that I measured to have similar internal resistance to Parkside 4 amp hour batteries. Supply charger charges the battery in around 2 hours as it has 2 amperes of output current. Unexpectedly the chainsaw is also included, but more on that later. Manual covers pretty much everything and it is definitely worth reading. Chain has pitch of one quarter of an inch, which is typical small handheld chainsaw size. One quarter chains are to be sharpened with a 3.2 mm round file. I ordered mine file from steel. Uh, the chain width is 1.1 mm, which is standard for one quarter inch and three eighths inch p chains uh, these three eighths p chains are sharpened with four millimeter or 4.5 millimeter fire uh, so be careful when choosing your file the number of links is 47 so you can run to for example steel shop and they should be able to make new chain after you wear out your ore chains or you can buy chinese chain the tool looks sturdy. It has many screws and strong body. Let's take the cover off. Uh, this shield is for safety reasons, but personally I will take it away once this review is done. It prevents you from sharpening the chain comfortably. Uh, there is sprocket at the end of the bar, ensuring longer bar life and lower friction. Chain tension settings is on the cover, so it is easier to reach and set. On the top sits filling cap for chain oil. Oil level is also indicated. Teeth are plastic, 
still would be definitely better, but since uh, the saw is for branches, it is okay to have plastic teeth. Trigger has this nice safety feature. You can't press it unless you press this. So, safety first. The trigger has just full power and no regulation. It may be actually good because using chainsaw at lower RPM will cause some jumping. Uh, this lower shield is detachable, but you need to open wall tool first. Uh, grip is comfortable to hold and the saw is balanced. Uh, personally, I would put more weight forward because you will be often pushing like this. Uh, there is also wrist wrap so the chainsaw doesn't fall off the ladder you are on. Battery has three levels indication and its shell is enough. But please don't throw the batteries on concrete. Pleasant surprise awaits you just right after you open the chainsaw. Motor is really brushless type. It also has rear bearing and also gearbox bearing. Cooling fan blows out uh, here where sawdust is present and sucks air from where there is no sawdust. Well designed. Electronic controller for BLDC motor is sealed. Good for moisture, bad for repairs. Oil pump is also present and chassis is sturdy and thick and even rubber parts have nice keys to over molding. To start using the saw we need to fill the oil and set chain tension. Bar has huge play as you can see. So we are interested in the tension while the bar is in cutting position. Uh, we push on saw like this. So the bar needs to be deviated up. Then the chain must be tight enough not to leave rail by itself, but also loose enough for you to be able to derail it with your hand. To adjust tension, loosen the main bolt a little, uh, so you allow the bar to move more easily. Then tighten or loosen uh, this bolt. Then tighten main bolt back and try again. Brand new chain will require more frequent tightening, but it will settle down after time. Uh, then we pour oil in the tank and let pump oil the chain. We should hold it against something like cardboard and let it run. The oil pump takes some time to prime and to pump the oil in the bar. Once we begin to see drops, the oiling is running wet. For first run, uh, for new chain or new bar, let it oil on idle, so the oil gets everywhere. Once this is done, we are set.
Uf. done we must do some maintenance so the chainsaw would be ready once we grab it in the future we put the battery in charger meanwhile we take a brush little paintbrush or toothbrush and clean the saw take the cover and bar off beware the saw has unusual oiling and it has no need for gasket into cover plastic for lubrication this chainsaw doesn't use regular holes but these small holes always keep the holes and channels clean you can blow through it, for example. Uh, once after some time, grab something like tiny flathead screwdriver and clean dust from the rail. It can also be done with compressor. The sprocket must be rotating freely. If not, blow it with compressor and put some drops of oil. Because this area gets worn out faster, as you usually push in here, uh, the edge gets nasty. I recommend from time to time to put your bar upside down. And the most important thing, chain. Chain is the thing that cuts. It is crucial to have your chain sharpened properly. Chain gets blunt after time or you can get blunt instantly by hitting dirt. My tip for this chainsaw would be conditioning sharpening for every two discharge batteries. You need to buy 3.2mm round file from steel and tool for a limiter teeth. I heavily recommend watching some sharpening videos here on YouTube. Now when we have our chains sharp we only must think of one rule. Always refill your chain oil after putting new battery on. Conclusion. This chainsaw with its weight of 2.1 kg may be heavier, just like a drill, but also significantly more powerful than such ordinary chainsaw uh, one can buy from China. Brushless motor has better efficiency and packs higher power in smaller box. Chain lubrication system lets you cut without fear of melting your chain or without WD-40 or any other more suitable lubricant in your pocket. It has 20 cm bar and that allows you to cut anything the saw is suitable for regarding its power and size. One can cut saplings, bushes, 10 or even 15 cm wood comfortably. It may find its use even when felling trees for firewood, as it is perfectly suitable to cut branches off the tree. You can work with it on a ladder. If you are interested in this tool, you can visit official manufacturer's webpage from link below the video. That's all for this video. Goodbye and see you in another video.